Well, how about that solar eclipse today, y'all? Hell of a thing. Everybody was real excited, but for different reasons, though. Those of us with some sense were excited because it's a rare and awe-inspiring glimpse at the cosmos. And then there was a chunk of people out there who were excited because they thought Jesus was going to fire up his daddy's tractor beam and suck them all up to the big Trump rally in the sky. That's right. They thought it was the rapture, y'all. They did. How many almost raptures have we lived through now? Eight, nine of them? I can't believe any new rapture prophecy gets any traction considering their all-time batting average of, let me check my notes here, zero percent. Never been even a little bit close to write about any of that, and yet they persist. You know they're already rationalizing why it didn't happen, too, dude. Th these people, their relationship with their the God they believe in is like your grandma with your screw-up cousin, like, never comes through. They always make excuses for him, though. Right, like you, th these people, they move the goalposts more enthusiastically than a crowd of Tennessee fans after our once in a generation win over Alabama, right? Like, you know, they've already rationalized it today. They're like, no, he was totally going to rapture us. But then at the last minute, he saw fit to spare us, praise his name. It's like, oh, really? Maybe, maybe, or maybe your sorry ass just didn't make the cut. Did you ever think about that? Yeah, maybe all the real Christians are up there right now, square dancing with Dale Earnhardt. Meanwhile, you're down here with us godless number lovers. What do you think? Right? It's all so ridiculous, you know? And I mean, look, listen, if it was two, 3,000 years ago, I would understand this a lot better, like back before we knew stuff about things, you know? Like back when our best guess was that the sun was pulled across the sky by a chariot driven by a jack dude in a toga who likes to turn into a duck and assault people. Like when that was what we thought was going on, I understand how if the sun goes dark in the middle of the day, people think, oh, Lord, Ra's going to kill us all, y'all. I, I would get that. But ever since science has been a thing, there's really no excuse for it, especially when you consider that these people, they could not care less about the very real apocalyptic scenarios that we face. You know, these people, when it comes to like the ever more apparent and destructive nature of climate change or the prospect of once again handing the nuclear codes over to a smush brain narcissist, they sleep. Don't bother them at all. But you let some righteous gemstones type dude see Jesus in his toast and start talking all revelation-y on the internet, and now your craziest aunt's got to get her affairs in order. It's ridiculous. And they're excited about it. Have y'all ever thought about how scary it is that so many of our countrymen are thrilled about the idea of the world ending, and we're supposed to work out a budget with these people? How? I'm just saying anybody that was standing out there T-posing under the eclipse today waiting to get beamed up does not have a firm grasp on fiscal policy, okay? I kind of wish they were right. I wish it had been the rapture. You imagine if all of our craziest Christians just suddenly apparated how pleasant that would be? Right, they're out there arguing, trying to figure out how to deport all the brown angels to hell. Meanwhile, we're down here getting stuff done, making things better. But alas, it was not to be. There was no rapture. There's not going to be some bailout from God. It's up to us to fix the problems that we have, and even if we have to fight them tooth and nail to do it. But it's okay, because if you ask me, days like today serve as a welcome reminder that it's a hell of a thing we got going on on this little blue marble of ours, and I think it's worth fighting for. Love y'all. All right, YouTube, listen. It's hard to keep up with all the crazy stories going on out there today, and it's even harder to know what the truth is behind those stories. That's why I want to tell you about this video's sponsor, Ground News. Ground News is a startup and service that aims to combat bias in the media by adding context and transparency to all the news you consume. Let me show you how it works. All right, we're here on Ground News' web page. They also have a mobile app and a Chrome extension. And before we get into the story I was talking about, you can see here on the left, they got a whole section devoted to election coverage. It's the year for it, y'all. Don't fall behind. Use Ground News to keep up with the election. On the right, you can see one of my favorite features. They offer the blind spot feature. This shows you stories that are not being reported on by either side of the political spectrum. So you can look outside your own bubble for a little bit. Like down here, the right currently not reporting on Trump's uh, recent controversial abortion statements, which have angered conservatives. Why are they not reporting on it? Maybe they don't want to make him look bad. But anyway, you see here the top story right now, the eclipse. Any story you click on ground news, you get extra information. You're not going to get anywhere else up top. You get a coverage breakdown. You see all the sources, the bias distribution, which ones are left, right, center, a summary up top. And here's the list of the articles that are currently out there. Before you ever click an article, you get more information than you get anywhere else. You can see the degree of factuality, the political bias the outlet is known for. You can also see the ownership group. See right here, you can see who owns the Coast Reporter is Glacier Media, right? It's just extra context you're not getting anywhere else. You can also compare the headlines and see how they differ according to the bias present. Now, this is a story about, you know, a scientific phenomenon. So we're not seeing as much variability in the headlines here, but depending on the subject matter, 
uh, the way uh, stories are covered can vary wildly based on the biases at play, and you know that when you use ground news. It's information and context you're not getting when you get your news from other places. That's why ground news is great. All right, so if you like the sound of that, click the link in the description below to try Ground News today. You can try for free or you can get 40% off their highest tiered Vantage subscription. Through that link, listen, y'all, it's an election year. It's never been more important to know the context of the news you are consuming. It's time to push back on the bias and the BS. Try Ground News today. All right, YouTube, and we're back. Listen, what do y'all think the next, the next rapture is going to be? What are the odds on that? What are the betting odds? Joe Biden's inauguration. Does he get inaugurated again? How's that work? Do they have another inauguration if you get reelected? If he gets reelected, you know they're going to say it's another rapture, right? They're going to call for that or help, probably even if Trump does too, I guess. It's like good rapture versus bad rapture, but it's all good if you're into the rapture thing. I don't know. They'll come up with something. Again, it could, you know, some dude in the Dominican Republic is going to claim to be, you know, Jesus' grandbaby or something, and then they're off to the races. You never can tell. But what I do know is it isn't going to happen. But I really do think. It kind of would be nice if it did. You might disagree with that. You might hear that be like, no, Trey, that would be real, real terrifying because that would imply that they have been right about everything. If those people, the type of people who believe that the eclipse was going to be a rapture, if they got raptured, that would have some very seriously upsetting implications for life in the universe and everything, right? But I disagree. Sure, that means they're right about everything, but that also means that it really sucks up there. You know, That if they're right about all the things they've ever said about God, then I don't want nothing to do with that dude. Heaven, it can't be worth a damn, dude. Heaven don't hit. If they're right about it all, I mean, what are they doing up there? Watching Kevin Sorbo movies? Listening to Lee Greenwood on repeat? It don't seem fun to me. You can't have drugs or nothing. If you drink a six pack, you got to do it hiding from everybody else. At least that's what Baptists do. You know, it doesn't, doesn't seem like a good time. Conversely, if they're right about all that, if that is all true, that means the devil is also real, and he pushed back on God and got cast out, which means he must be a pretty rad guy. He was the first guy to be like, this shit is dumb. I don't like the sound of any of this, which means he's pretty cool, right? So hell, probably a great time. Well, I'm just saying, I think it would all work out. So I kind of hope they get raptured. I kind of hope they're correct about it. And then, or, you know, if like God is real and rapture is real, but he does care about people being like, uh, good and having integrity and things like that, then even us non-believers might be okay. And then we get to heaven and it is a party. I just think it, it, it's going to work out fine either way. I, I don't think that a rapture would be the end of the world. You know what I'm saying? All right. I'll see y'all next time. Listen, I'm going to put these things up here. I appreciate you watching. This is my comedy special. Damn boy, watch that. Click to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. See more of these videos of my podcast and all that fun stuff. Most important one to me, this little circle here or here perhaps is TreyCrowder.com. It's my website where you can see tour dates where I go do stand-up live. Really, I'm a stand-up comedian. If I'm coming near you, please come and see me. The most important thing, you keep watching these silly missives and I'll keep making them. I appreciate you. Love you like chicken. See you next time. Bye.